Who are we? Do we know? What are, what are our true ambitions? What, what is nurtured in us? What is the heart? What is the heart? We talk about heart. Oh, I, I love you from the bottom of my heart. What is the heart? And I have been asking people this question. Do you know what a heart is? So then, let me tell you what a heart is. I'm not here preaching to you. This is from my experience. Then the heart in me is where my clarity resides. The heart in me is the place where the courage to know the reality exists. The courage to be in joy exists. The courage to be a human exists. This is the place in me that my understanding resides. This is the place in me where I am me rather than the reflection of people's wants and need. So many people, especially when you become a father, you have your children. They look at you as a father. You think about their needs day and night. You become a mother, you look at your children, you think about their needs day and night, and all of a sudden you stop being you and you start being a father. But a father who is not himself, a mother who is not herself, a wife that is not herself, a husband who is not himself, and pretty soon you are a citizen of this world, but who is not himself or herself. So the value of it becomes the nest that is empty. Because once the birds fly away, that nest is nothing anymore. The wind will come, throw it out, all the effort that went into weaving that nest together will get dismantled. And then that's it. In life, because this is everything, we hardly have an understanding of what it means to be alive. Do you live your day like it lives in you? with precision. A second does not waste itself, does it? But you waste a second. An hour does not waste itself. An hour never goes missing, does it? A day, does it ever go missing? But you go missing from the day. You have a watch, but you don't know what, you, what time means. And so, we try to live, but we don't know how to live. We try to love, but we don't know how to love. We try to be, but we don't know how to be. We don't even know what qualities we embed, embody in us. We don't know that we have generosity. To us, when we walk into a room and throw the lock, we are alone. We're alone. Really? Really? Excuse me. Your anger came with you in that room. It's right there. You may not be angry, but the anger is ever ready. And it's right with you. You did not leave your anger in some other room. Wherever you go, even when you fly, and they say, are you flying alone today? And you say, yes, you're lying. <laughs> because that's not true. You're flying with a lot of excess baggage called anger, called fear, greed, always, wherever you go, it's right there. Feel, ever feel lonely? You should never feel lonely. <laughs> 
you have lots of little friends that are right there. Think about it. You never leave home without anger and fear and greed and lust. And you never leave home without understanding, without clarity. They're also there with you. The question becomes, what have you been nurturing in your life? Two fields. What is the difference between a garden and an abandoned field? What is the difference? Soil is soil. And sometimes you see an abandoned field and a wall and then a garden. So you know it's the same soil. But one is lush green, has flowers growing in it. The other one is barren and has weeds growing in it. What is the difference? Well, in one, somebody planted the seeds of the beautiful flowers and gives them water and nurtures them. And in the other one, nothing was planted and nobody nurtures it. And what grows is despicable and what grows in the garden is beautiful. Peace is in your heart. Peace is in you. And all it needs is nurturing to flower, to be, to come to fruition. This is life. One life. One life. This is what you have. And no excuses. This is your possibility. To live fulfilled every single day. To live fulfilled every single day. That's what peace is. That's what peace is. And it emanates from the place called the heart where the courage lives, where the clarity lives, where the compassion lives, where the understanding lives. This is your reality.